So, Mikey, you got something a little old, new, old school that's become new school to talk about. Exactly, yeah. The uh, the art style of like uh, classic 8 and 16 bit games is starting to make a comeback. There's one that's really caught my attention this last week called Axiom Verge, all made by one guy. It uh, should be out on PS4 now and uh, Steam next month, I believe, in May. But uh, it's it's like a Metroid clone, and it's like a, an immense world. It's just yeah. huge and everything. And like you have to go here and get this power up to unlock this up here. To go in here to unlock this door that's over here. And a lot of backstory. Right? Exactly. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of backstory. Yeah, right. it's, it's of super also, Metroid, but like, there's also for, for now. Okay. There's also uh, was it Rogue Knight or a Rogue, Rogue Legacy? Rogue, Rogue Legacy, Legacy, which is a fun game. I played quite yes, a bit. Yeah. You got <laughs> Shovel Knight, which I'm waiting for. I, I haven't touched it. I'm like, wait for it to come out on PS4 because I'm going to play it. Right. It's, yeah. it's fun. You'll, yeah, you'll really good. enjoy it. But yeah, that, I mean, it almost seems like, you know, yeah, I, I don't want to say this is what started, but Minecraft was really the first popular 8-bit looking game to come out before all this stuff started. Yeah, I'm there's, there's, if that started the trend. There's always been a few of them here and there, but no, none of them ever really got real popular. Yeah. But like you said, with Minecraft and it's downgraded graphics and everything like that it kind of i guess it kind of sparked some inspiration for others like uh there's also uh, one that's kind of like a Mega Man style game that's on mobile devices called jump and shoot attack where you're just nice running game. across and you tap this side to jump you tap this side to shoot make it through all like four or five levels or whatever it is hmm. what i like to think is you have people now who were our ages yeah. they grew up playing castlevania and Mega Man, yeah. and now they're able to go make their own games. Exactly. And we're definitely in, in a place where you have your AAA games, your Battlefronts, your Call of Duties, and then you have the so-called indie games. I don't like using the word indie games because... No one really puts them. Exactly. Exactly. But you don't have this middle tier anymore like when THQ declared bankruptcy oh, and all these little studios started closing that made that middle class game that wasn't great but it wasn't a cheaply made game that Cheaply made, but you definitely have all these new indie developers which you fill in that space. Have some more uh, experience with some PHQ games, then I can show you some games that are crap. Oh, I, I totally agree. Yeah. WCW was awesome. Oh, WCW was awesome. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about back before like that era. I'm talking about when they were first getting into making games. And mm. oh, I hear THQ. What's that really bad? Spit crap one? out. Uh, Jake. JPG or something like that. Oh, LJN. LJN. Oh, man. They're horrible. LJN with the rainbow They made underneath. some of the worst games. Yeah. If there was a movie game. If you game. saw the rainbow on the cartridge, you knew it was going to be crap. Like, <laughs> if it was a yeah. movie or, or TV show based game, they LG got the rats. Oh, somehow man. or another. Right. Tyson's game drawn. They, they did ET, didn't they? They did. No. I don't think so. They cannot take credit for ET. No. Oh. That, uh, the Atari <laughs> takes credit for that. Exactly. Yes. But. I, I have that game, by the way. <laughs> My buddy has a copy of that game on Atari. That, that game was the game is pretty bad. Yeah, but George R. R. Martin well, is in it. The war. I hear that documentary that re released that on Steam in eight bit version since eight bit so popular now. Oh, oh Lord, so. no, no, I was joking. It's reburied when I was. But yeah, the Axiom Verge, uh, it definitely looks good. It looks like something I'm gonna have to probably pick up. So it's a Metroid clone. Pretty yeah. much, I'm I'm gonna pick it up when it comes out on Steam. Definitely. It's I would, you know, these and it, what I would like to see though, you got these older 8-bit games like Castlevania, Metroid. Why is there no new games to be made of these, man? These are amazing games. I would Could love you Capcom. I would love a Castlevania mm -hmm. 2 style game because mm -hmm. that had so many RPG elements, but updated graphics, maybe. So something yeah. kind of like Symphony of the Night. Yeah, yeah they're kind of I want something newer, like, like something with a bit more RPG element to it. Than, yeah, and PS4, and like, but not and like PS4 Lords more. of Shadow, where you you ride a werewolf, uh, who's riding another werewolf, like you have to jump on the back of another werewolf, who's riding an even smaller werewolf, and keep jumping back and forth. What? No one played that game. I'm, no. I'm not a fan of the 3D ones at yeah, all. Yeah, 3D one, 360. They, they weren't. That's my favorite 360 game. About time. Right. What game is this? It's Castlevania. I believe it's Symphony or Lords of Shadow. Lords of Shadow. And there's a scene where you're, you're riding a werewolf, chase another werewolf, and you're all white riding the werewolves, and like you have to like hop from werewolf to werewolf. And then you get to a point where you're on a werewolf, there's on another werewolf, there's chase another werewolf. Are you saying werewolf? Werewolf. <laughs> werewolves. Werewolf. The the where well there's so many like werewolf eye, werewolfies. 
Werewolves. It'd be werewolf for one many. and werewolves for many. <laughs> you know, like if you have a wolf or a pack of wolves. I'll, I'll throw it, Webster. You know, <laughs> what in room? Wolf pack. What in room? Right. The old school NWO, anyone? I was thinking of the Hangover Wolf Bag. Oh, I'm going old school NWO. I've always been uh, NWO Red myself. So oh, I've always been a lone wolf, day. and I made four lives, man. Pack. Much better than NWO Hollywood. Yeah. I hate him. He had to switch to that though. He didn't have the right. Like there was on his marky on his marker on his stubble. So, you know, Sting's back in the WWE. He is. I watched Not back. His first time ever beat He had one match and he lost to Triple yeah. H. Pissed me off. I, saw it. I don't know. That's just how they scripted it. He's still there. He's still under contract. Okay, that's good. Stay tuned for more wrestling news. Yeah. I want to see Sting oh, and the Rock tag team. I want to see Sting versus Taker. That's my. You know, Ronda Rousey's supposed to be doing some more stuff mm-hmm. there. Hi, Ronda Rousey. She's so hot. Be more. Oh, my God. And she wore a Dragon Ball shirt to WrestleMania. Yeah, yeah and she could totally beat her ass. That's, that's, that's so much what makes her hot. All four of us together. Easily. She's so hot. Yeah, she is. Let's just think about Ronda Rousey for 10 minutes. Let's take a moment of silence for Ronda Rousey. She's not dead. <laughs> a moment of silence to appreciate Ronda Rousey. Oh, I'm going to look her up on my phone and appreciate her more. I don't want to know what you do when you're just, just go on the road. Her, her, her ESPN <laughs> sports, or was it Sports Illustrated or ESPN photo shoot? Wait, what? She was... <laughs> Yeah, you haven't seen it? Oh, oh, speaking of ESPN, oh. you guys see the uh, the ESPN no. co-anchor that like, berated that poor Towels guy? Sports talk. Oh, no, she was like... It was she on went, CNN. Yeah, she went in. What'd she do? It was like a towel store she, or something. Towel she, store? Yeah, to buy towels. She, she berated this 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 guy that works there, like, and they got it on camera. And it's like her saying, so do you have to be missing a bunch of teeth to work here? And she's like, God, talking about how ugly it is. She's like, well, I'm beautiful. I'm on TV. You know, you know who I am? I'm famous. It's like, if you have to say you're famous, you're no, probably not that famous. I didn't know there were a store that just sold towels. Uh, probably Bed Bath & Beyond is probably where it was at. Or I have no idea. Towels, towels, towels. I have my favorite store. store. Towels, towels, towels. Yeah. Don't, don't just, forget to bring it down. I have a mid mid towel. Towel. So That's the wrong guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what was the topic? I don't even know anymore. Okay, so I think we're done with <laughs> that topic. I, I think we've covered everything we can cover on that.